Well, you know what? It is like this every single holiday weekend. Of course, they're going to be looking for people who've had too much to drink. So whether you're celebrating outdoors in this pop up park here in Ferndale, where they've added the flowers, the the doggy bags, the pallet wall, or you are perhaps hanging out on Woodward or in another city, uh, police say that they are going to be doubling the enforcement looking for drunk drivers. Now, as you've probably heard by now, the governor did close those indoor bars, but outdoor bars, those are still in business. And many leaders are encouraging people to have smaller gatherings with just close friends and family members. But still, alcohol has historically been a part of many people's Independence Day celebrations. Fourth of July revelers not only dealing with social distancing rules, having to potentially wear face coverings, but now also additional enforcement in the streets. So this is a very you know, unique July 4th, wherever it is you're celebrating. Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napolin says officers across Metro Detroit are going to be out in force. We are going to be out. We're going to be vigilant. Uh, we know, unfortunately, during this time of the year, uh, some people drink the excess, excess and they will be on the street driving. So we will be out looking very closely. We look forward to having no arrest if that's possible. That certainly would be nice. And by the way, this is a uh, this is kombucha. It's my little br breakfast uh, breakfast uh, healthy drink. Hey, listen, remember that artist I introduced you to just a couple of weeks ago? If you're looking for something to do today on July 4th, you can swing by her place once again. Check out these photos. She used chalk to transform her fence. This is in Madison Heights across from Edmondson Elementary on Catherine Avenue. Again, in Madison Heights, artist Jennifer Ramirez using chalk and her fence to make a tribute to Independence Day, drawing the Statue of Liberty, a flag in America. An eagle. She welcomes people to come and take pictures in front of her fence art. And again, that's in Madison Heights on Catherine Avenue. No matter where it is you're celebrating today, be safe. Be safe and stay socially distanced and be careful. Make sure that you do have somebody sober behind the wheel. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson. Sima, back to you. All right, thanks, Jen. Have a safe and happy 4th of July.